smoking devils. My first approach with any music video is absolutely emerging myself in the material. I always say a good director is a good actor because you have to become the artist. You have to resonate with why the artist created this song. Now the fuck you to them coppers trying to get us. We just smoking devil's lettuce, hoping God don't forget And the second thing that I do is I just close my eyes, think of all of the colors. And in the beginning, I just feel wholeness. I'm just walking through a blizzard. Hey. And then Tony's voice kind of just warms that up. I feel his humanity. I just see cyan. I just see like a blaring white. When the bass comes in, it felt like a really deep crimson red to me. Setting up a strong backlight, we're trying to make red. So this orange light is going through this red thing, which is going through this shower curtain. The shower curtain is like kind of cool. That's why I added so much extra red so it could stay warm. In post, I'm gonna make it more red, but whatever you can do in practical, do it in practical. So you Less work to do later. You need to bring a camera in there? Yes, I do. The pants, the red pants is over there? See if they fix you first of all. Personal fall with you real quick? Press a lot of it. Yes. More fall. Just keep it, just keep it rolling, just keep it on pushing. All right, close the door. And swing it open. Three, two. With my arm, like yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, action. And when the lead voice comes in, I thought to include green in this because, you know, the devil's lettuce. Green does a nice job of complimenting red. Just when I heard, don't play with your name, that for some reason reminded me of the Grinch. I was like, I want to include like some nice green in this. Maybe I was thinking of all these wintry things because he sent this to me when it started getting cold in like November. The third time listening to it was where I actually felt a storyline. What would happen? And I could just picture the devil being this tantalizing person coming to liberate you from a very rigid, boring lifestyle. And so when it's conflicted with the temptation of what the devil represents, freedom, having a very chaotic nature, when one subjects themselves to the corporatism of America, this rigid, monotonous lifestyle. It's almost like when you're raising a very sheltered kid and you never let them out the house, you never let them party, you never let them do anything. And then once they hit 18, they just have a taste of the devil's lettuce and go crazy in life. Alright. So you asleep. I wanted the character in this story to feel overwhelmingly small in this repetitious, underwhelming cycle of life. And that was what I utilized the blue for. The light blue and white you think of almost like hospitals and offices. It's a very sterile color. And so I didn't want to introduce the reds and the greens until much later on. His bedroom is mostly white. The red blanket really sticks out to kind of indicate that red is going to be a color of rest, a color of kind of a break from what he normally does in his day-to-day -day life. Toward the end of the video, it kind of almost suggests that he was so high out of his mind that nothing in the video really happened. Once he has this devil's lettuce, the entire music video is a visualization of who the character wants to be. He's asleep by the end of the video after the credits to kind of show that this is a cycle that's probably going to repeat itself. Um, just as you keep seeing him wake up day by day. The use of mirrors in this was very important to me because a mirror is when you have to look at yourself 
and all that you are. You can see him looking at himself in the mirror in two scenarios when he has to wake up for work and contemplating the inevitable same thing he has to do every day versus when he's looking at himself in the mirror seeing the devil over his shoulder smiling later on while he's smoking the devil's lettuce. Why'd you set up the lights? It seems more natural in how a bathroom like actually operates is more realistic because a bathroom like floods the whole bathroom from the top down. So what you would do is since this light is actually warm and I wanted a cool light, I just took this light and bounced it off of the, the ceiling so that it could drape over the subject as opposed to like a hard light that's concentrated on it. It just looks very even because we have the window backlight and then we have this coming right, bouncing right off this corner into his face nice and soft so you don't get crazy shadow it just looks like life basically it looks very immersive then we have the fog lifting the shadows also if you look in the video there's certain parts that he starts to lose time and really dissociate from his reality and that's shown on how reality is blurred by the fact that he's wearing a suit while he's taking a shower or sleeping in his work clothes his work life that he's dissociated from is slowly starting to bleed into his life it's almost like today is happening faster than yesterday did until it's like enough is enough he wants to change and he goes to this guy and smokes the devil's lettuce as many people that um live in poverty and are subjected to the cycles of corporate america do often turn to stimulants to try to find greater purpose what's going on please, please? i'm sorry yeah ran tony what up my bro you're here all day huh Never. come on man you know me bro yo what's up man? um the ass story i gotta really move quick so i'm trying to get that really. Get what? I seen, I seen you on the corner the other day. Oh, you talking about the the, the woo Yes, he, uh, right. he called it some funny shit when he was yeah, on the street. Yeah, bro. the devil's us, the devil's us. Okay, so what's up? What you what you got for me? I mean, only 50 for now, then same the other 50. Yeah, I get yeah, that. Was... You know niggas work 9 to 5. I was like, can't be out here getting money like you, man. Come on, it's something like out, man. You need to play the trap song, bro. You need to get some money. Yeah, holla man, at me, listen, 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 listen. This shit right here, bro, this is not regular weed, bro. It's not regular so weed. Drug deal. Nah, what I understand about? what you're talking about, but what I'm telling you is that this is not regular dope, bro. I don't even smoke no more because of this shit, bro. <laughs> Just listen, listen, listen. I know you and nigga like to get high and vibe my eye-eye. No, nigga, I'm stressed. I'm trying to get some nigga, so is that going to help me out? Yeah, yeah. I don't care if gonna it's be, regular or whatever. You I'm, gonna, I'm trying to be regular. Listen, it's called devil's lettuce, but you might find God, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, man. You don't make it. Hey, hey listen. I'm honest, man. man. Yo, right, man. Be safe, yo. Right, right. Same to you, bro. You gotta be safe, too, bro. All right, right. I can't really take credit for anything besides the blocking and the composition of this long one take shot because that was just them being them. They were, it was just candid. They were pretty much improvising. Fun fact, the guy that played the dealer in this is Rand Van Dam. So he produced this track as well. Cool little cameo. You can see him in the background watching one of his videos. Red and blue next to each other is pretty jarring it's not like red and green where red and green kind of complement each other um it's pretty hard on the eyes for those of you that do graphic designing like you would never put red font with blue font showing the red light being on ran van Dam's side versus the blue light being on our protagonist side is done on purpose to kind of show that ran van Dam is going to give him something similar to what his blanket at home does for him three two one start a little further back further back three two one Action. Yeah. That nigga Tony. Yo, Tony. Tony. Yeah, nigga, me. What's going on, baby? Ramsey, what up, bro? Cool it, man. If I had four quarters, I still couldn't call it, bro. You know what I'm doing out here? You know what the fuck I'm doing out here. You know what I'm doing out here? 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 You know what
And for those of you that know my other work, yes, that is the Nexus um, that Tony is in. That's the Nexus. Smoking devil's lettuce, smoking yeah. God, don't forget. Couple coppers with Barrettes trying to lock us up forever. We just smoking devil's lettuce, hoping God, don't forget. Couple coppers with It's not heaven, it's not hell, it's not earth, it's just a neutral zone. Everything is just raw and unfiltered. I wanted this party scene to make it look like almost like hell is in the background. And this is my favorite scene right here, the short break. He is watching himself at his job, taking a shower. He's actually watching himself, watching himself take a shower. Well, he's actually, he's watching himself, watching himself, watching himself take a shower and staring back at himself. This is something that was a personal insert of mine dealing with stuff like this derealization depersonalization derealization is when you feel that the things around you aren't real almost like you feel like you're in a matrix is one of them or if you feel like you're in a dream depersonalization is when you feel like you are fake or you are a ghost so i wanted to create that combination here okay which one is the real person is he watching the guy in the shower or is the guy in the shower watching him and he's forced to almost think was i really showering was i actually there did i ever leave work if i'm watching myself right now taking the shower that i'm going to take tomorrow and that i took yesterday did i really take it you can never escape his work. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm dropping a tutorial on three point lighting for darker skin very soon after this video. Let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see. I'm super, super excited to announce that my $25 patrons on patreon.com will be receiving their first exclusive early access to what's your budget pins. There's only 75 of them that are going to be available until March 30th, but I cannot promise you guys that there will be any pins left at the end of the month. There's only 75 of them and it's first come first serve. I'm revamping my entire website and creating a store soon to actually sell newer editions later on. But for right now, it's patrons only through patreon.com. So if you're already a $25 patron, hit me up and let me know your shipping address and i'll send it right to you at no extra cost when later pins come out they won't be this price this is just a page for my patrons to donate to me and this is basically just a thank you it's just a benefit for rocking with me this entire time so again you got until march 30th east side harlem reppin